in this video we will discuss the problem search insert position of k in a sorted array so in this problem we are given with a sorted array arr which is a zero biased array as it is and which consists of n distinct integers so basically we have an array of n distinct integers and a integer k so let's see what we have to do we have to find the index of k if k is present in array so you can see that the array is sorted and we have to find the index of k if it is present so can you guess yeah we can solve it by using binary search okay so we can use binary search here to find the index of k if it is present in the array arr but what if it is not present in that case we have to output the index where k should be inserted so that the array should kept sorted so the array should be sorted after the insertion of k so we can also do this operation by binary search okay let's see how for example example number one we are given with n is equal to 4 means the size of array is 4 which is 1 3 5 and 6 and the value of k is 5 so you can see that the k is present in this arr which is at index 2 because the array is zero bias indexing so we have to output 2 we can uh, easily output it to using binary cells but in this case you can see when the value of k is 2 k is not present so what should be the index where k should be if it should be inserted and what should be the suitable index so that the array is is still sorted so we have to search for that particular index so if we check there is one then there is three so we have to consider that yeah two should be in between this one and three basically it should be after one so two should be just before the number which is just greater than two and after the number which is just less than two so it should be after 1 and before 3. So we should insert this 2 after 1 which is at index 1. And all the other characters are shifted by 1. Fine. This is what we have to do. So basically we have to find such position. So if the k is uh, available in the array, if k is present in the array, we have to just output it, its index. If k is not present, we have to search for an index such that the number after that index is just greater than k and number before that index is just smaller than k fine yeah so let's move to understand it more clearly by taking an example okay for example our array arr is 1 2 5 7 13 and 17 for example so we will check for some cases uh, in case number one we will check for k is equal to 7 then we will check for k is equal to 8 then we will check for k is equal to 0 and then we will check for k is equal to 19 so we will consider these four things these four k okay so first of all k is equal to 7 so easily we can insert binary search here we can use binary search here and we can output that yeah, 7 is available so we can say that yeah 7 is available under index number 3 so for k is equal to 7 the output is 3 now for k is equal to 8 what we have to check because k 8 is not present anywhere in this particular array arr so we have to find such a position such that number after that is just greater than 8 and before that is just less than it so this is the required index you can see number before this is just less than it and after this is greater than it which index is this it is 0 1 2 3 4 so the answer for k is equal to 8 is 4 now what should be the answer for k is equal to 0 so this k is equal to 0 and k is equal to 19 are some special cases are some corner cases Let's see how, because if k is equal to 0, all the numbers of the array are greater than k. Means we have to insert this k at the beginning of the array, means at index number 0. So for k is equal to 0, the answer will be 0. And you can check that all the numbers of the array are less than k when k is 19. 
we have to insert this k at the last of the array. At which index? It is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th at index number 6. So for k is equal to 19, the answer will be 6. This is what we have to do. So these are two corner cases which we have to consider. Okay. This is a common case when the particular number is already present and this is a case when where we have to check that is there a particular index present such that the number before that index is less than k and after that index is greater than k. Fine. So now how can we do? Let's take this example and check that how can we do perform this particular operation. So our array was ARR is equal to it was 1, 2, 5, 7, 13, and 19. So let's check for k is equal to 9. Okay. So what we'll do in binary search, we have two pointers. One is pointing at the start, which is at index number 0, and one at n minus 1. Okay. So let's say this is i and this is j. Okay, now we have a pointer m also, which is in mid of this i and j means it is at i plus j by 2. So it is something between this, which is here. Okay, so first of all, what we will check it. No, it is like n minus, what is the value of n minus 1? So the value of n here is 6. So it is 5. So the value of m will be 2. So index 2 is here. So m will point here okay so now we will check that the value at m is less than or equal to k so if the value at, at m is equal equal to k for example the value at arr m is equal to k in that case we have to just output just return m because we have got the index if it is greater than k okay so if it is greater than k then what we have to check if it is greater then there are two cases what are the two cases okay the two cases are if the value at m is greater than k then we will check the value at m minus 1 because if the value at m is greater than k and the value at m minus 1 is less than k so this is what is required we have we are requiring an index now that such that before that index the value is less than k and after that index the value is greater than k so if we have got an index where the value of that index is greater than k and before that index is less than k then we have to just output that index otherwise if the value before that index is also greater than k then we will do our simple operation which we are doing binary set which is we will update the value of j to a minus one now if arr of m is less than k. In this case, let's see what we have to do. So in this case, what we have to do is that we will just update the value of i, which will be m plus 1. Just similar to what we have to do in binary search. Fine. So I hope you get it. So yeah, we will code this part. We will try to implement this logic which we have thought in, in that you will be get a better understanding of what we are trying to say, what we are trying to do. Fine. Okay. So let's move towards the code part. Fine. So this is our editor. Now, first of all, we will initialize our two variables. I is equal to zero and J is equal to N minus one. Okay. As we have discussed. Now we will use a while loop till i is less than or equal to j fine so that the two pointers doesn't intersect fine now we will initialize a mid pointer which is i plus j by 2 okay fine so first condition was if the value of at m is equal to k so if the value at m is equal equal to k in that case what we can do is we have to just return m because we have found the index. Okay. Now else. 
else if the value at m is greater than k okay is greater than k in that case what we have to do is in that case we have to check the value before that index means at m minus 1 so if the value at m minus 1 is less than k then yeah we we got the required index because the value at m is greater than k and m minus 1 is less than k this is what we are we are requiring so we have to just return m else we will update the value of k because if arr m is also greater than k arr m minus 1 is also greater than k so in that case we will update the value of j and we will call our pointer to contract fine there is also a sample case to handle here what is the sample case the sample case is what if the value of this m is 0 so this m minus 1 becomes minus 1 this was the cornered case which I have discussed okay remember these are the two corner cases which I have discussed these two corner cases now these two that when all the values are greater than k or all the values are less than k fine so what if the index is 0 means it is the first character of the array and then also it is greater than k so in that case we have to return just 0 means all the characters of the all the elements of the array are greater than k so we have to insert a new number means the k at index number 0 so we have to return 0 fine okay so this is the condition now the third condition which is if arr is less than okay that is only the left condition in that condition again we have to consider the sample case so this was the first sample case okay this was the first sample case which was like when all the elements are greater than k so in that case we will insert k at index 0 now we will check that if the value of m is equal equal to n minus 1 why i am doing this because here we have to check that if a r r m is less than k we have checked the if it is greater equal to k then we have checked if it is greater than k then we are checking if it is less than k so if the value of m is less than k the value the element as in the index m and that is the last index of the array it means the last index is itself less than k so obviously all the other indexes all the elements of that particular array is less than k this is the second corner case which we have discussed when all the indexes are less than k this one okay so in that case the last index is also less than k you can see here it, it was 17 and here it is 19 fine what we have to do fine okay so now in that case what we have to do in that case we have to return n because we have to insert the new integer k at the end of that okay else else we have to just update the value of i to m plus one okay so now let's run this code first of all let's compile this code so yeah it is compiled completely you can see that the fifth was occurring at index number two now let me check for uh, which is not available for example this 2 is not present for the output for this yeah for this also the output is that now you can see that the problem is solved all the test cases are so I hope you get the explanation if this explanation is clear to you please hit the like button subscribe the channel and comment that if it is video is helpful for you or not